Today on TJ Off-Road, we're going to show you how to carry a 37-inch tire on the back of your JL. If you're looking to carry a larger wheel and tire on the back of your brand new JL Wrangler, today we're going to be installing both the reinforcement plate and the tire mount bracket onto our brand new 2018 JL Rubicon. The Mopar Performance Reinforcement Hinge is going to ensure that your tailgate can hold up to the weight and pressure of a 37-inch tire when you're out on the trail and it's bouncing up and down. It's going to include the oversized spare tire mount, which lifts your tire up and extends it outwards to avoid any interference with your rear bumper. It includes all the necessary hardware and features a durable aluminum construction on the reinforcement panel and a steel construction on the tire carrier plate itself. With that being said, we're going to get it installed on our 2018 JL Rubicon. Tools you need for this installation, 3 8 inch ratchet, 13 millimeter deep socket, T35 Torx bit, T45 Torx bit, T55 Torx bit, small extension, half inch ratchet, 22 millimeter socket, a torque wrench, and a pair of snips. To get your spare tire off, all you need is a T30 Torx bit, a 22 millimeter socket, and the key for your locking lug nut. Simply twist this to the left, and you can pull this protective cover off, and you can get your lug nuts off. After the spare tire is removed, you're going to go around and remove all eight of the bolts. So use a 13 millimeter socket and pull this tire carrier bracket off of the Jeep. Make sure you have a hold of the tire carrier as it will want to fall. You can now pull both of these rubber isolators out. The next step is going to be to pull these four T55 Torx bits out of these original hinges. I'm going to use a Torx bit and because there is paint on there, you might have to tap it a little bit to get it set in. And we can get them pulled off. Before we remove the last bolt, I'm going to take some of these little wood sticks, place them in there, make sure this tailgate doesn't move when we pull them out. Grab your tailgate reinforcement panel and the included button head Torx bolts, and you're going to put these in through the front and use a spacer and a retention lock on the back. I'm going to get all four of them started here. And now what you're going to put on the back are these little spacers that come with the kit. Slide them over. And then you'll use this little retention ring so that way that stays on there. Just work your way down on it. And do that for each bolt. Now you can line the bracket up into place. Get your four bolts started. Then we can come back and tighten them up. Go ahead and get this reinforcement panel snugged up. However, you don't want to tighten it fully down. We're going to move on to the spacer on the carrier itself. Then we can torque everything down later. Now, before you can install the oversized spare tire spacer, you do have to trim a little bit of this plastic vent. You're going to remove this outer lower lip right here. This is actually a clip that holds it in. It'll be fine if you remove it. There's plenty around it. So you're going to remove this one this one and trim up on both outer edges. This is going to allow that bracket to clear nicely. We're going to move on to this top part of the bracket and you'll tell it's the top by this Mopar logo as well as the bolt studs will be up about an inch and a half. We're going to use the included hardware with a washer on the back and just slide them in this side. Get one started. Throw another one in there. 
then we're gonna use one of these spacers over here to space it out because we have this reinforcement panel. This will allow it to be level. Slide this spacer labeled top underneath here, and then put your hardware through that. Make sure it starts. Now we can move on to the lower bracket. Grab the lower part of your bracket as well as a spacer that's labeled bottom. You're gonna do the same thing, make sure the studs are going upwards. Just get all four started. Go ahead and tighten all eight of the bolts that you just installed down. Uses a 13 millimeter socket. Make sure you tighten them down evenly. Apply even pressure all the way across the board. Now that all eight of the tire carrier bolts are tightened down, you can torque these down to 35 foot-pounds. They're gonna use a T45 Torx bit. Start in this top left corner and then go down to the bottom right, and we'll go up to the top and then back down to the left corner. This will make sure it tightens down evenly. This kit does include these three plugs. If you're not gonna be using these threaded holes yet, simply plug them in. That way water doesn't get in there and start rusting the threads. Since we are gonna be using a stock wheel with a 37 inch tire, we're gonna use these included spacers. Obviously labeled top is going to go on top. And then the bottom spacers will go right here like so. With those spacers in, you're now ready to put your tire carrier back on and use the included nuts and washers. Get that all tightened down. It'll set there in place. Now I wanna go grab washers and your nuts to get them tightened down. Place your washer on first. Make sure a washer goes on each stud. Grab your included flange nut. And just start each one. Make sure you put every nut and every washer onto each stud. Now use a 13 millimeter socket and get them all tightened up. One of the last steps of this installation is to install your tire and measure the distance in between the back of the tailgate and the back edge of the tire. There's an adjustable bump stop that it requires a little bit of trimming, that way you get it the right length, and it prevents that tire from wobbling around and causing unnecessary damage to the back of your tailgate. After having the wheel and tire on, you can now see what option you need to go with. The reinforcement plate comes with these smaller ones. However, that oversized spare comes with this one and you can cut it at whatever length you need. I think I'm gonna go with this one, it's gonna be the perfect length. Put the rubber isolator back into the original location. Make sure to reinstall your lug nuts. Reinstall the plastic piece that goes over your camera and put it back into the lock position using a T30 Torx bit and your installation is complete. As you can see, we just wrapped up the installation of this Mopar oversized JL spare tire kit onto our 2018 JL Rubicon. This is a really great kit allowing you to carry up to a 37 inch tire safely on the back of your tailgate. Best part is you can open it and close it with one hand and it's able to carry all the weight of a 37 inch tire. It only takes you about an hour to install and you can find it right here as well as many other great parts for your JL at cjponyparts.com.